from alien worms living in arsenic to clams that eat rocks. Here are 14 of the strangest animal stories reported in 2019. Sly New Gecko There's a vast array of animals that are endemic to Madagascar, and leaf-tailed geckos are among them. These reptiles are known for their leaf-like appendage that inspired their common name, and helped them stay camouflaged. A new species was discovered in the Ankarana Special Reserve. It had actually been there all along, but it was commonly mistaken for a similar species. After several years of detailing the animal's genetic distinctiveness, researchers found enough evidence to declare it as a separate species. Since these geckos are very elusive, and seem to display a crafty smile, they're sometimes called sly geckos. Dog Walker Dino Detective The northern bays of West Somerset in England have become known for their fossil finds. While a dog walker was strolling along the beach with his two pets, he found a five and a half foot long fossil. Storms had recently uncovered it, but the artifact had been sitting there for a long time. Its age was estimated at more than 65 million years, and it probably belonged to a plesiosaur. Those were marine reptiles that existed in the late Cretaceous. It's unknown if this specimen was a juvenile or adult, but mature plesiosaurs could range in size from about 5 feet or 1.5 meters to around 49 feet or 15 meters. Some of the largest known marine apex predators ever belonged to this group. Staring at Seagulls have you ever had seagulls try to snatch your snacks at the beach? It turns out there's an easy way to stop the greedy gulls from doing that. Just stare at them. A study conducted in the UK in 2019 tested how the birds reacted when humans were watching them and when they were ignored. When humans stared at them, the gulls became a lot more apprehensive about inspecting food. Many of them seemed to lose their appetite and flew away. But when humans were looking the other way, the birds became bold enough to swoop in for treats. Earlier studies have shown that some animal species will change their behavior behavior when humans are directly watching them, and looks like seagulls are among them. Down in the mouth. Some tiny marine crustaceans have a strange place to call home. Researchers found a previously unknown species living inside the mouth of a whale shark, with an average size of 32 feet or 9.8 meters, and weighing some 20,000 pounds or 9 metric tons, whale sharks are the largest living fish species. The shrimp-like crustaceans, on the other hand, are only about 5 millimeters long, so they have plenty of room inside the shark's mouth. Researchers say that the minuscule residents receive plenty of seawater, which is necessary necessary for breathing. Food flows in regularly, which they capture with their hairy legs, and their huge host provides a safe space from predators. The animals were found inside the gills of a whale shark's mouth in the waters of southern Okinawa. They belong to a group that is known for living in a diversity of environments, but finding a group of them living inside the mouth of another animal was unexpected. Given the dog a bone. You know how dogs can be about burying their bones? Sometimes they find bones that they never buried. Well, that's what happened in the UK when a four-year-old beagle named Crystal was out for a walk with her owner. The dog sniffed out the fossilized leg bone of a woolly rhinoceros, estimated to be a quarter of a million years old. Actually, it might not be such a surprising event. While beagles are known for their keen senses of smell, Crystal's owner is a paleontologist who trained her to sniff out fossils by their pungent clay-like smell. Woolly rhinos died out around 10,000 years ago, and their fossils have been found throughout Asia and Europe. Ancient Trailblazers Around 550 million years ago, there was a creature that may have created the first animal trails on the Earth's surface. Fossils of the segmented, worm-like beast were discovered in southern China, along with its ancient trails. The animals would have measured around 4 inches long, or 10 centimeters, and resembled millipedes. As it dragged itself along, it left behind trails that extended some 23 inches, or 58 centimeters. Some of the trails indicate the ancient creature was moving away or towards something. That might indicate an early sign of decision-making among animals. Along with that possibility, the discovery provides proof that segmented and mobile animals probably evolved more than half a billion years ago. That means familiar animal life forms could predate the Cambrian explosion by about 10 million years. Wakanda forever. The Vibranium Fairy Wrasse is a fish species that was discovered in 2019. It was located in dimly lit coral reefs some 60 meters, or 197 feet deep, off the coast of Tanzania. Those waters are beyond recreational diving limits, so researchers think that's probably why the vibrant purple fish had remained undiscovered until recently. If the term Vibranium sounds familiar, you're probably a fan of Marvel Comics' Black Panther, but the fish itself exists in the real world. Should Marvel make it an honorary Avenger?
Preserved Prehistoric Puppy The permafrost of Siberia has yielded some incredible discoveries of ancient animals. This one was reported in the eastern region in November of 2019. An ancient tiny canine was discovered in a near-perfect state of preservation. Estimated at about two months old when it died, the prehistoric puppy's fur, whiskers, and nose were found in good condition. It almost looks like the animal is only sleeping, but carbon dating reveals that it perished some 18,000 years ago. It's still unknown whether this might be a wolf or one of the world's earliest known dogs. Komodo dragons need no mates. Measuring about 10 feet or 3 meters and weighing up to 150 pounds or 70 kilograms, these are recognized as the world's largest living species of lizard. You may have known that, but researchers say these animals are also capable of parthenogenesis. That's a natural form of reproduction where embryos can be developed from unfertilized egg cells. Scientists at the Chester Zoo in England confirmed that unfertilized eggs were laid by a captive female specimen that had never been in physical contact with a male dragon. While snakes and lizards have displayed this form of reproduction, it hasn't been observed in Komodo dragons. That is, until now. Experts say the behavior is rarely displayed, so it's probably more of a chance occurrence than an adaptation. Shocking news about eels. Another reminder of the Amazon rainforest's amazing animal diversity arrived in 2019. For ages, it was thought that there was only one species of electric eel, which is actually a type of fish. But DNA evidence revealed the existence of two newly discovered additional species, for a total of three. One of the newly found species can deliver an electrical jolt of 860 volts, which makes it the world's strongest generator of bioelectricity. That far exceeds the older species, which generate about 600 50 volts. Researchers think the animal's stronger discharge is related to waters in its highland habitat, which has reduced conductivity. Electric eels generate shocks for hunting and self-defense, and they're powerful enough to knock out a full-grown horse. Mysterious Croc Nearly 250 years after being discovered, a prehistoric crocodile was finally identified as a species of Mysteriosaurus. The fossils were found in a small Bavarian town during the 1770s. In 2019, paleontologists linked it to a now extinct species that thrived in tropical waters during the Jurassic period, some 180 million years ago. For the past 60 years, the creature had been misidentified as a similar species that existed around the same time. Scientists say that this predator would have been about 13 feet or 4 meters long, with pointed teeth and a large snout, and may have resembled the modern-day gharial. Since its fossils have been found in Germany and the UK, Mysteriosaurus seems to have no problem swimming between islands, not unlike today's saltwater crocodile. Rock-eating clams Shipworms are clams identified by their long, delicate bodies. They're known for chewing and boring through the hulls of wooden sailing vessels, hence their common name. But an unusual new species was discovered during 2019 in the Abatan River of the Philippines. Instead of wood, this one has a voracious appetite for rock. Scientists have noted that this mollusk can eat limestone, which they later expel as a fine sand. The critters are described as plump, translucent worm-like clams with large shovel-like adaptations that allow it to dig into the rock. Simba Kubwe. Fossils of a huge prehistoric creature were unearthed in Kenya decades ago, but it wasn't until 2019 that paleontologists finally identified it. From Swahili, its name translates as Big Lion, and it would have lived up to that name some 22 million years ago. At an estimated weight of 3,300 pounds, or 1,500 kilograms, it was bigger than a polar bear. Those beasts are the world's largest extant terrestrial carnivores, but this creature would have been a hypercarnivore, like a saber-toothed cat. Even even though those two species missed each other by about 8 million years. Experts say that Simba Kubwe's ancestors were small, weasel-like creatures. That's hard to fathom since these lion-like animals were powerful enough to take down the large forerunners of rhinos and elephants. One in a million worm. Here's one of those stories that proves truth can be stranger than fiction. There are about one million species of worms documented, but this one might be the strangest of the lot. It's known as an extremophile, creatures that can survive in the harshest habitats. It thrives in the waters of Mono Lake in California, which has a concentration of arsenic that's 500 times the lethal dose for a human. Not only is this microscopic animal identified as male, female, and hermaphrodite, it also carries its young inside its body 
body, not unlike a kangaroo. In all, researchers found eight new living species living in Mono Lake in 2019. All of them could survive in the lake's hypersaline waters, but only the alien trisexual worm was able to easily adapt to normal conditions in the laboratory. Thanks for watching this episode. Did you like the video? Tell us what you think in the comments below, and be sure to like, follow, and subscribe.